Okay. Uh, first of all, um, I'm, I'm very grateful for uh, this uh, chance and um, uh, Bacon and um, the instructor at uh, one of uh, the known university in Ethiopia. And uh, um, uh, today we are going to uh, talk about uh, the global warming and the climate change as the theme for uh, this uh, annual conference. And the title that is uh, that's uh, concerning me is about the effect of the global warming on the developing countries' economy. Uh, so first of all, uh, we have to talk about what we mean by global warming. And uh, the global warming is the gradual increase in uh, the Earth's temperature due to uh, different uh, greenhouse effects caused by the increased level of uh, like the carbon dioxide, the chlorofluorocarbons, and another uh, pollutant which is emitted from different sources to the atmosphere. Uh, as a result, um, when the average temperature of the planet or when the average temperature of the globe rise, it causes uh, like the warming on uh, the atmosphere of the Earth. And those global, uh, those uh, greenhouse gases are like uh, the heat trapping, uh, particles, which is found in the lower part of the atmosphere, which is uh, in the troposphere layer of uh, our uh, system. And the heat is kept from leaking back into the atmosphere by the effect of this creating natural blanket, which is uh, the term greenhouse effect. And these greenhouse effects are uh, like in their uh, normal condition, they are very important and helping for warming or uh, to make uh, the world it, uh, hot and keep the balance of the temperature, which is uh, maybe the minimum and the maximum temperature. Uh, but when the concentration increase in the atmosphere because of uh, uh, emission from different sources, they causes uh, mm -hmm. the warming of the globe. Uh, and the high concentration of the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere like carbon dioxide, C4 or uh, methane, Ozone or uh, O3 are like uh, one of the example of uh, these greenhouse gases and they causes the warming in uh, our planet. And when we see the effect of the global warming as uh, I have uh, seen the latest uh, IPCC report, which is uh, uh, intergovernmental panel for climate change report shows the greenhouse gas emission continues to rise and the current plan to address the climate change is uh, not ambitious enough to limit the warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial level. And the threshold scientists uh, believe it's necessary to avoid even more uh, the catastrophic impact is if uh, the, the concentration just uh, or uh, the emission increases like uh, this threshold, uh, we are getting in some uh, very serious catastrophic uh, of the world. And uh, this report shows uh, some similar things like as uh, previous reports, which you may already know about that, the climate change is already causing more frequent and more severe storms, the flood, drought, wildfire, and other extreme weather events. All those are uh, the extreme event which is caused because of uh, the changing of the world climate, as well as because of the increment of the temperature, as well as in some cases, because of the cooling effects of uh, different uh, particles in the atmosphere. And what's particularly troubling, as, uh, troubling is that these emissions are not even distributed. That means the distribution of the emission, the distribution of the carbon dioxide emission and another gases is not uh, evenly distributed or it's not equal in wealthiest and maybe uh, developing country and developed countries. And the wealthiest countries are responsible for uh, disproportionately uh, more emission than developing countries, even though uh, the developing countries are experiencing more severe climatic impacts as uh, the report in the February shows. So, uh, the, the developed world or the developed countries are uh, emitting more and more and the developing countries like Ethiopia and another African countries and sub-Saharan countries are like uh, getting more and more effect of this global warming without any role in emitting another uh, 
global uh, warming causing factors. And as you see, uh, the world is getting warmer uh, from 1850s. That means pre from pre-industrial revolution to that of 2020, uh, the temperature or the, 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 the yeah, the temperature of the world is increasing. In some cases, uh, around 1900 uh, to that of 1950s, there was a cooling uh, effect, which is maybe minus uh, the emission is minus 0.2 percent uh, to uh, Celsius. But after 2000, uh, the the temperature of the planet or the temperature of the globe is increasing beyond uh, one degree uh, Celsius per annum. Uh, so let's see uh, the social effect of this global warming. As the climate continues to change, the million of poor people face greater challenge in terms of extreme events, the health effect, food insecurity, uh, livelihood security, migration, weather security, cultural identity, and other related risks. And the climate change is deeply intertwined intertwine with the global pattern of the inequality. The social impact of this global warming could be like the crop failure and starvation, the conflict between a uh, society to survive and the migration from their uh, original land or from their origin is uh, some of the social impact of uh, the global uh, warming, which is uh, happening in uh, the world. So this climate change, uh, or maybe which is uh, literally in global warming creates mass migration around the world. People are leaving flooded coastlines, road strike on farmland and the area of uh, extreme natural disease, disasters. From 2008 to that of 2018, uh, events related to the climate or weather have displaced about 22.5 million people annually, which is according to the United Nations uh, high commissioners of refugees, you know, uh, which is related with the environmental disaster as well as the climate change. Um, some of uh, the scholars or some of the climate uh, uh, activists uh, forecasted that by 2015, the climate change could cause money as uh, one, bi one billion people to immigrate or to just dislocate from their original land or to, from their uh, origin. Uh, another uh, part we have to talk about is that of the economic impact of this global warming. Uh, negatively, the effect of this uh, climate change is are expected to be the ongoing drag on the global gross uh, domestic product. And as some steady attempt to uh, project uh, the change impact on GDP, and they conclude that there was 51% chance that uh, uh, the climate change would reduce the world's GDP by more than uh, 20%. This is uh, the, the research that is uh, done by the Stanford University, which is uh, the economic impact of the global cha climate change on the world. So uh, that's comparable to the Great Depression where the GDP may fail uh, to that of minus 26.7%, uh, which is uh, done uh, during 2007 to that of 2009 recession, similarities to the difference uh, from the past. And the only difference is that in the case of the climate change or global warming effect, the GDP reduction would be permanent. The same study found that uh, there was about 71% chance that climate change would have at least some negative impact on GDP. And the, larger, la, the largest impacts of uh, the climate change is that it could wipe off up, up to that of 18% of GDP and uh, of the worldwide by 2050, if the global temperature rises about uh, 3.2 degrees Celsius. Uh, according to the uh, Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change Report, uh, the food and agricultural uh, impacts, or maybe the, the problem that's related with food and agriculture is maybe uh, when the temperature increases in two degree, two degrees Celsius mean, uh, the crop yield decline in tropical, from tropical regions by five to that of 
10% in Africa. And when the temperature increase is three degrees, it may rise to that of 115 to that of 550 million people at, at the risk of hunger, which is the yield likely to peak at higher latitude. And when the temperature increase in four degrees Celsius, the yield declines by about 15 to that of 35% in Africa, some entire region out of the agricultural production. Uh, when the temperature may increase in uh, five uh, degrees Celsius, that increase in ocean acidity, which possibly reduce the fish production in uh, some coastline uh, of uh, the part of Africa and another developing countries. So when we see the impact of this global warming on developing country in Africa, the part of Africa most at high uh, risk, highly vulnerable region in emerging uh, world it includes Sub-Saharan Africa, according to the World Park. And the continent has been identified as uh, one of the parts of the world most vulnerable to the impact of the climate change. Uh, and the agricultural sector employs 65% of the African labor force and the sector output has increased uh, since 2000, mainly uh, due to the expansion of agricultural area. Uh, we may be, uh, or the Africa, may be uh, very vulnerable to uh, the impact of this global warming. Uh, the Sub-Saharan Africa is a rapidly developing region of the great ecological climate and cultural diversity. Uh, for example, uh, when we see Ethiopia, it's one of the Sub-Saharan countries that faces the consequence of global warming. And due to the diverse effect of this global climate variability and the change, Ethiopia is considered to be one of the most vulnerable. Uh, in Ethiopia, almost, from uh, 70 to that of 75 percent of the, the, the uh, country's GDP is dependent upon agriculture. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm listening to you very okay. well. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, in Ethiopia, as I told you, about 70 to that of 75 percent of the GDP is covered by agricultural production and which is mainly depend upon uh, the rainfall, which is rain for agriculture. And this is heavily dependent on rain. And in addition, it is low adaptive capacity as well as its geographical location and topography makes the country highly vulnerable to the adverse impact of the climate change. The results indicate that over 50 years period, the projected reduction in agricultural productivity may lead to that of uh, 30% less average income, which is which is compared with the possible outcome in the absence of the climate change. Very recently. Uh, okay. Continue. Hello. Hello. Uh, let us, when you finish your presentation. Oh. Okay. Can I continue? Yes, you can continue. I will have a question at the end. Okay, okay, okay. So um, between 1990s uh, to that of 2005, the average uh, of each year, 6.3 6 million people required uh, food assistance, which is amounting to over 654,000 tons annually. And the number has now increased to the closer 10 million during the past 10 years. Um, the main cause of this livestock, as well as uh, agricultural uh, damage in Ethiopia, is uh, the shortage of water and food during uh, some extreme events like the drought. In general, uh, depending upon depending on the emission scenarios uh, and the models used, the temperature rise is estimated to be between uh, one and six degrees Celsius in the next century. The economies of developing nations are projected to be significantly impacted by the climate change. The losses without uh, adaptation and mitigation might reach 20% of GDP, according to the estimation which is uh, done by uh, the scholars. Uh, when you see uh, the projected impact or the impact, the, the, the projected uh, impact of the global warming in Africa, uh, some part of the Northern and Southern Africa saw decrease uh, in runoff and increased flooding, particularly in East Africa. 
the saver impact, the saver effect on food security and productivity in numerous marginal semi-arid regions, uh, agriculture will become unsustainable and also increase in small farmer poverty modest increases the production in the area with mainly climate change and rising rainfall. Uh, in some part of the Asia, more than billion people are impacted as the summer stream flow of most major rivers uh, is reduced to the melting glaciers. The risk of springy, spring floods will grow when uh, the snow melt occurs earlier in uh, the season, during the dry season, uh, sorry, during the wet season. Uh, increased water shortage in South and East Asia during the dry season monsoon uh, bring this increased flood danger to the South East Asia and some Indian uh, subcontinent. As well as in Latin America, uh, the rapid increase of number of people affected by the weather stress due to the combination of the climate change and increased demand by uh, 2050, between uh, 60 to that of 150 million people will experience uh, weather stress. And region most suitable for coffee production will move to different locations. As we know, Brazil is one of uh, the part of the Latin America and which is known for uh, large production of coffee. Uh, and maybe this suitable area would be moved to different location and the quality may be uh, affected are likely to change already with small temperature increase. In general, more unpredictable, Weather will result in more crop failure from either drought or flood. Agricultural production is probably going to increase in the location where the rain is expected uh, to increase. Uh, the World Bank estimate that the effect of the climate change could push an additional 100 million people below the poverty line by 2030. In addition, uh, the impact of the extreme weather is resulting about uh, $520 billion in annual consumption losses and pushing 26 million people uh, into poverty each year. In addition, the major commercial ports in developing countries like uh, Rio de Janeiro, Mumbai, Guangzhou, and Dar es Salaam uh, faces the threat of uh, being submerged by rising sea levels. And by 2050, at least, 300 million people will live in coastal areas threatened by uh, dangerous flooding. Uh, as the Stanford University studies found that the climate change has increased the economic inequality between developed and uh, developing nations by 25% since 1960s. And this is all. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your attention. Uh, and if you have any question, or maybe uh, this is like, uh, if you have any comments, we are welcome. Hello? Hello? Yes, we can. Sorry, my network is not very good. I was uh, disconnected and connected. Anyway, I have a question. I, I, I check a, a formation since. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I know that you, Ethiopia has um, have uh, built one of the biggest dam in Africa. Yeah. Uh, which, which, uh, which are the consequences, the early consequences we have since, mm. or maybe that affect uh, more effect of climate change. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this dam? Um, yeah, this dam has uh, maybe. Uh, much more importance in, uh, the, in the, the part of this uh, uh, sub basin, which is uh, around um, the Nile, or maybe in the local name, the Abai. Uh, as I think, one of the advantage of this dam is uh, producing 
which is enough uh, um, renewable energy, which, which is helping uh, the people to not to cut down the trees, which helps us to uh, conserve the environment. And this is uh, one of this importance. And the another part is that it may influence uh, the areas or the lowland parts, which is found around that dam by influencing the local climate, like the microclimate uh, effects uh, by cooling effect. Uh, and uh, the another advantage or another importance of this uh, dam is maybe for uh, the Horn of Africa, uh, it is one of the source of the energy which uh, helps us to share the green and uh, renewable energy resource. This is uh, maybe uh, some of the importance of uh, uh, this term. And it is highly related with uh, the global uh, warming and the climate change because since we have renewable energy uh, use, uh, we are not going to cut down trees for different energy uses, like for cooking, for different purpose. So when we do that, we are conserving the environment and we are just sequestrating the carbon dioxide which is found in our environment uh, due to this, the concentration of different greenhouse gases like this, uh, like carbon dioxide would be reduced and it helps us uh, to reduce the emission of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, sorry, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Okay. Uh, also, I I saw that you you check with the information of uh, IPCC uh, yeah. 20, uh, 10, 2010, 2010, mm -hmm. But since uh, I was Ethiopia, I saw during the hello hello. Hello? Yes, uh, there were a lot of economy. Uh, is the same data of 20, 20, 2010s mm -hmm. is, or is always available? Yeah. Or the, you have same portion of uh, agriculture in, 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 in the same impact of agriculture in the, in, in the Ethiopia economy, or maybe there are some changes because there are, there, there are which I seen a lot of uh, documentary uh, display uh, some, some industry from China. Also, there are many billionaires and billionaires that 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 born every day in Ethiopia. Yeah. Please, yeah. could you? Hello. Okay. Um, is this the same? Actually, with the information we had. Um, this is like uh, the projection, which is uh, done by uh, the climate uh, investigators or like the climate scholars and. Uh, or Some is a little bit we yeah it is not that much general but uh, the, the effects would be uh, seen on some part of the economy or on some part of uh, the GDP of the country uh -huh. yeah okay good uh, maybe as uh, Sabasin uh, are you sure you have sent the Zoom link to the Slack. Yeah. So other can join. Yeah, I'm sure I did it. I don't know why. Maybe a uh, uh, problem with network. Yeah. Because uh, Sebastian has a lot of interest to join this meeting. But anyway, um, what we do. Uh, also, we get uh, from attendees uh, the interest to join. I don't know uh, why, but 
seem I think that uh, one of the major parts that we solve in the next in the next conference we have uh, will be uh, about uh, technical part. Okay, uh, yeah. Maybe uh, to allow a, mm, yeah. every, every person to join. Maybe it could be a YouTube live or, mm -hmm. yeah. or something like that on social media. Yeah. I, I was uh, thinking like that. And uh, uh, since uh, this is uh, the theme for... Uh, since the climate change and the global warming is the theme for this uh, this conference, that's why I did that. And uh, maybe in the coming, we will uh, make something like big and uh, influential, I think. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, maybe Fatma, we, we follow you. If not, uh, we close this OBJS conference 2022. Okay. Uh, with, uh, we will launch uh, next week with the uh, consultant part. Okay. So okay. During, during the week, we will go with some interview. Okay. After okay. the interview, uh, we go directly to the contract. Okay. Uh, for the contract, uh, you we give you access to the private group. Okay. Also, create your account on OBJS consulting part. Okay. okay. So there uh, you could earn money from the from the from the project. Mm -hmm. Also, you have this possibility to contact one of experts from the community. If you have any challenge. Okay, I will do that. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, my hope is that my vision is that uh, if you have, uh, if things going well, next year we have a presidential meeting. We okay. choose one country and invite, invite the SPL like you to on different thematics. Okay, okay. So. Um, I'm very, I'm very so glad to have you. Okay. Yes, they are good that will happen. So still just stay in touch. Okay, I will keep in touch. And uh, I'm, I'm very sorry for uh, some inconveniences happened uh, during this meeting. And also maybe since this is my first uh, like online conference, uh, I, I could make some uh, errors or some like something like which is not which I'm not supposed to uh, do. So I will. Uh, I would like to say Hello, sorry. Forget. forget. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Forget about it. Is, <laughs> is something that can happen. Um, maybe a. Uh, so uh, you know that when you are entrepreneur, you are you are. Yeah. Uh, Mindset. Okay. So don't, don't focus on difficulty, we focus on solution. Okay, thank you so, very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. It's not it's not a problem. As we we solve it is the uh, Okay, okay. I, I I thought uh I did something which is uh like that is why I, yeah. I, was, I was feeling uh, guilty. That's why I, I would like to 